thrive on being the underdogs and I think they're going in today with an attitude of we have very little to lose and everything in the world to gain and I anticipate that they will do the, proud, the county proud this afternoon. John Murphy, thanks very much indeed. John, we'll let you get back to your seat in the stand now and take your place among those Waterford fans there, full of hope and expectation, of course, that they can win their sixth title here this afternoon. Well, I'm delighted to have uh, Donal O'Grady with me this afternoon, keeping a watching brief, and he's down there in the centre of the park at the moment, and it's absolutely a sun-drenched Porky Cueve, as you'll gather. What are the conditions like down there, Donald? Well, sure, the conditions are near perfect for hurling, really. There's a light breeze now blowing from from the Black Rock end of the field but I think that will be um, a great sign for the players really because talking to the referee at half time in the minor match he felt it was extremely warm very warm on the feet very warm all over and I think that the light breeze won't affect the hurling in any way and I think conditions are perfect Humidity is obviously going to be a factor then um, Well the thing is the, the wind is blowing up a little bit but once, it, once the game starts I think it's not going to affect the flight of the ball anywhere so I think that um, the whole atmosphere is building up around me now, as you can hear, and um, the whole crowd here, Stephen Mon Hill, and afternoon at the right hand side, the Tipperary supporters, four supporters, and great boys. There's a great buzz and a great atmosphere around the field. Yes, it really is a spe spectacularly colourful occasion, and uh, I can see the huge sleeve of the Mon flag. You can see it up there to your right as we see you there, Donald. They bring colour wherever they go, the Tipperary fans, and of course, longing for another big monster success. There they are, the people from Art Finnan. Well, from early morning...